uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to comment out some of the code in mule application in order to do that i just created one mule project which has a listener in order to receive the request and also i have three logger step here just to print some logger message with logger 1 logger 2 and logger 3 so now this application i just started and it's in a deployed state now so i'll send the request now so the request has reached mule application and you will be able to see it's log logger 1 and logger 2 logger 3 so now i wanted to comment out some of the code uh, in my mule application so how do i do it for example i don't want to execute for some time i don't want to execute for logger 1 and logger 2 instead of removing completely i wanted to disable that particular part so what i can do is i can comment out that particular code in the xml so i went inside the configuration.xml so there uh, assume i don't want to assume i am going to comment this first two logger so what is the syntax you need to use you have to use this one to start and you just copy this one and where you want to end right for example in my case i wanted to disable first two loggers so now you save it so this particular syntax is used in xml to comment out some code or if you wanted to add some command for your program right so this is new lab for logging so like that you can write a command and also you can write some code you can open this and you can keep whatever the code you wanted to comment it or disable it and then you can end it so this is a start tag for the comment and this is the ending tag for commenting and if you go to message flow only logger 3 will appear here because the logger 1 and logger 2 we disabled it and now after the change right after the change it started an app now now I am going to run this one. So earlier when we run, it was printing logger 1 and logger 2, logger 3. So now if I run this one, it will only print the logger 3 alone. This is because we have commented the code for logger 1 and logger 2. So if I wanted to remove it, then you can remove it and save it. Then it will appear in your message flow. See here, it is appearing in the message flow. So, so instead of typing it right, uh, so if you wanted to run some or give some shortcut to comment this one so what you can do is you select this one and then what you do is you just do control and then you click shift and then you click the slash okay so i'm going to do that control shift and then i'm going to click slash see here it's commented properly so whatever you wanted to do right you just, you just select the rows uh, you select the particular text how many rows you want or how many lines you want and then you just do control shift and then the slash so this way you can comment it whatever row or whatever the lines you wanted to comment it yeah that's it for today and uh, thank you